Hey there, I'm Justin Silverman, the founder and CEO of Merchant, and I'm really excited to give you a sneak peek of our newest invention, Page, which is a fully automated Google business profile management bot. So what I want to do is just walk you through everything they can do so that you can see just how cool it is and how it can help you rank your Google business profile higher. So what we're looking at here is the main dashboard, and this is where you can go to see everything that you need to know about your business, such as your optimization score, your automation score, and how you're doing with Google reviews. You can also train page, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. The next thing you're going to see are your recent automations. So these are all the things that page can automate for you, which we'll talk about uh, in a little bit. And then lastly, the things that you need to do. And really what you can do is let this tool run on autopilot and it's going to just do everything that it needs to do every single day to do better optimize your profile. Uh, but if you want more control, then you can choose to uh, approve certain things. So if we look here, you can see the task to approve a local post. When we click let's go, it'll show you that post that it generated, including an image and the text. Uh, and you can just approve this uh, if you're happy with it and then page will post it on your profile. Uh, page can manage many different profiles at once. So uh, if you manage a bunch of different profiles, you can manage them here uh, in one dashboard. And if you're an agency, you can even white label page with your own logo on your own subdomain and have it fully branded as yours. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So uh, having a look at the businesses, we'll use our own as the example. And what you can see here are the target keywords that we're trying to rank for. So we're trying to rank for marketing agency and SEO agency. The cities that are, are important to us, if we were to pretend that we're a local business, would be Santa Monica, Los Angeles, and Venice, because we're located in Santa Monica. And then here you can see the tracking area. So this is where we're going to run those heat map audits so that we can track how well we're, we're performing every month so that Paige can automatically figure out what we need to do better to help us rank uh, higher from further away. Okay, so once we're happy with these settings, what we can do is head over to the automations tab and this is where you can configure everything including uploading images to your google profile so page has the ability to upload images to the media section to your profile and uh, it makes it really easy to do basically uh, page gives you this link that you would most likely use on your phone uh, and you just upload images to this tool and then page will figure out how often it should drip those onto your google profile uh, to help you rank higher uh, so instead of just uploading 20 in one day, it'll actually space it out to look a little more organic to Google. Also, when you upload these images, it's going to geotag them, it's going to scan them, figure out what it's about, and then write a very SEO optimized meta description based on your target keywords and add it to that file as well as give it an SEO optimized um, file name. So we really optimize these images once you upload them. And a common thread on this whole app is uh, how often do you want things to happen? So with page, you can say, you know what, I trust page to pick the right uh, frequency and how often we should do this action. Or if you wanted to set your own custom intervals, you can say set custom setting. And then you can say, I want page to upload an image every eight days or every uh, one day or whatever it might be. Um, I'm going to suggest that you always do trust page because what this does is learns from all the profiles that we're working on every month. So we have access to thousands of profiles. Uh, and their tracking data or their performance data. And so based on what we see working best with Google, we adjust the settings for trust page so that you're always doing whatever Google likes the most. Okay, next is you can automate posting. And there's some really important things I wanna to touch on. So one is you can train page and that means that you can tell page exactly how you want it to do things like posts or reply to reviews or answer questions or just general things about your business so that you can customize it to be exactly what you want. Uh, and so if you don't think that uh, AI can really hit your, your talking points, then uh, you should really try out this train page feature because you can tell it exactly how you want it to write content and do other things inside of page. Also, as far as customizing the content to your business goes, page will actually scrape your website to learn all about your business uh, when you sign up so that it talks about the things specific to your business instead of just looking like generic AI generated text. Uh, like it otherwise would. So there's some uh, really cool features that are gonna help you stand out. Here, what we can do is again, we can trust page to decide how often we want to post images on your profile, or you can set a custom setting. Uh, and then here you can say, what kind of images do you want to use for these posts? Should you only use images that you upload as the user to that tool I showed you? Um, if none of those are available, should we use some of the images that you've already uploaded to the media section of your Google profile? Um, 
And then lastly, you can say all the above. And if those are already used um, or there's none left, then uh, we should use AI to, to, um, to create images for these posts. Next are, do you want to use the raw images only or should Paige brand them for you? So Paige can actually put some styling on the image and then slap your logo on it somewhere that makes sense um, to make them look a little bit more polished. Uh, so we're going to say um, only use raw images for now, but you could say uh, brand them all. Um, then you can say, do you want to approve it? So if you fully trust Paige uh, to just publish everything on your behalf on autopilot, then you can say, no, I don't want to approve it. Uh, but you could always say yes. And then once you grow to trust page, uh, maybe a week or so after you sign up, uh, you can always change it to no so that you no longer need to approve everything. Um, lastly, uh, we can also have page publish reviews as posts sometimes. So it'll take a, it'll uh, have an, an image that's blurred out and put the text of the five-star review that you got sitting on top of it so we can sprinkle those in. Uh, once we hit save and continue, Actually, I'm going to change this. Okay. Once you hit save and continue, it's going to start to generate these posts. And you can see here that it creates um, artwork. And in this case, because it was branded, it put the logo in with a call to action. Uh, here you can see again, uh, the logo with a call to action, logo with a call to action, uh, logo with a call to action. And you can go and even change this text if you want to. Okay, next we're going to say save and continue. Oh, and you can see uh, the posting date for all of these. So this is set to post uh, with train page to every um, five days. And one of these was posted yesterday. So you can see today is March 25th. So the next one is five days from now. This is going to be posted on March 29th and five days later on April 3rd, five days later on April 8th, and so on. So we'll say save and continue. Next, you can set up the review management side. And so uh, what you can do is set up templates or ask uh, a, a page to reply, or you can say page to reply, but I want to approve it first. Uh, so it's fully up to you. Um, but if you prefer to just use templates, you can also do that. Uh, but again, you can train page here to reply to reviews exactly how you want her to. So uh, if you want her to say, uh, please call and ask for Jane to make things right on any negative reviews, then you would just hit train page and then type that into the box. Okay, so we'll leave it like this. Next, automate QA. So how often do you want the Q and A's to be uh, created? So how often do you want Paige to ask a question on your profile and then reply to it? Um, you can trust Paige, uh, it's every 10 days right now, or you can say custom setting and choose how often you want it to happen yourself. Um, and then you can say whether or not you want to approve it. We'll say, yes, we want to approve. And then here you can see the ones that Paige came up with. So you can see the next one scheduled for 10 days from now, um, 10 days from then, or sorry, uh, it looks like it's a little more often than 10 days right now. Uh, and you can see the, the text, or sorry, the questions and then the answers, and you can go and edit all of this, but it's made off of the website data that Paige read when you signed up. So it's all going to be factual um, and based off of your business itself. Save continue. Next, you can set up alerts. So you can say that you want to be alerted when there's a new task for you to complete, or you're not getting enough reviews, or you need to upload more images. And you could have that go to you, or you could have that go to someone else, or maybe you and somebody else. Uh, so if there's more than one person responsible for one of these items, then you can uh, share those alerts with them. And then lastly, you can set up the report. So you can say, I want to receive a report every other week or monthly or weekly, and please send that to my email address. Um, and then once you're done, everything is going to be automated, uh, fully ca uh, tailored to your business based on the training data that you gave to Paige and based on your website. So this is really going to be very custom just for your business. And then again, if you have the, uh, the approval stuff on, then you can see that information down here where you need to approve that content. Moving right along to the review side, we give you all of the review tools that you need. So we're going to tell you the key metrics that matter, like your total reviews and the change this year, your average rating this year, your rating distribution, uh, the average new reviews that you get every month, um, and then also how many days it's been since your last review, because this should never be more than a five. Um, there's usually a chart here, but ours is zero, so the chart is not showing. Uh, we also give a review request link, and this is what it looks like. Basically, it's a link that you can text or email your customers. Uh, you can integrate this with your other software or your existing customer communications uh, so they get sent automatically. 
and you can decide where you want these buttons to go. So for example, the okay and the bad ones are asking for feedback uh, from users so that you can get that privately. Uh, whereas if someone says that it was um, that it was excellent or good in these settings, we're going to send them straight through that leave a review box on your Google business profile. You can also configure this fully to uh, send the people to Google, that feedback form, where you want that feedback uh, information to go, or you can send it to a custom URL. Um, so maybe you want to collect feedback on your website, you can just put your website uh, URL in there. Uh, you can also see some ideas to get more reviews. You can download a QR code version of that link. Um, and here you can see all the reviews that you've received recently, and you can go and reply to them, and you can ask Paige to write replies as well. This is if you didn't uh, automate it all. Moving right along to the reports, this is where you'll be able to see um, all of the metrics from, uh, from Google, like how many calls you're getting, how many times you're being found in the search results. And uh, once this gets a chance to generate, it'll also include uh, heat map rank audit reports that show where you were ranking when you signed up compared to how you're ranking in your most recent report uh, so that you can see just how well page is working for you. If we look at settings, there's a couple things you could do. Like I mentioned, you can white label a uh, page to have your own branding on it if you're an agency. We also have different integrations coming out. So we're waiting for Zapier to approve our integration, which will allow you to integrate page with your other software to automatically have page ask your customers for reviews. And then lastly, uh, you can manage all of your billing over here. Uh, so that's the very quick demo of Page. And uh, as you can see, it's built to really automate everything that you need to do to get your Google business profile ranking higher uh, so that you really don't even need to worry about it. I hope you like it. If you have any comments, please let us know. Thanks.